Ah, what the f Why are you wearing your watch with clothes regardless? Why my watch on? Just I had a watch on. That's weird. Why are you putting your gloves on? So my skis don't sh sh cut my hands. Oh, that's a good point. That's cute. You have to put gloves on to hold your skis. <laughs> Alright. Are these the new bad boys? These are the new fatties, yeah. Yeah, no, so a fatty is just wider base. Simply put, it's just a powder ski. Matt had a powder ski with us in Alaska. And wasn't then mine. Wasn't his. And then he crashed into a rock. And no, uh, I didn't crash into a rock. I, a rock, uh, a rock I hit into a him. rock that I didn't know existed under a bunch of powder. And I uh, went over the handlebars just kinda, a little bit. Kind of ruined the ski, but it's fine. I'll insert a video clip or photo right here. These are my rippers. Oh. Now yeah. Matt, what is a ripper? You know, I don't think this is an official racing ski, but pretty much it's for flat groomers. I mean, if I get into a turn, these things just shoot me out. I mean, these things basically snap in half. They're they're fast. They're very fast. Very, very fast. Faster than your Solomons? Faster than these? Yeah, those are like a hybrid. Okay. Oh, wow. Uh, I should know this. <laughs> 71? Yeah. So the middle there is 71. Those are 99. And then this is 116. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. What do you think he loves more, those poles or you? I, I would hope those poles. I would hope so too. This is just kind of a big mountain board. You can ride it just about anywhere. Um, it is a little long, so maneuverability is not its... Uh, Forte. Oh, can you see me? Now this is a straight up powder board. Thank you, Mason, for the rental. Um, I sure could have used this in Alaska. But yeah, this is a straight up powder board. It's a fishtail. Um, you can basically carve through any kind of powder with this thing. Meant for deep, deep powder. Matt and I go on too many ski adventures to not make videos about it, so here we go. We're making some videos. He doesn't talk much. I like how you said we, like I'm going to be doing any of the work. He'll be doing none of this work, but he'll be skiing with me. Equally as important, these poles have been passed down. These are my father's. These are older than me, so. I don't even know. These, these things have probably been on more mountains than... Everyone I know put together just because of how many trips he's taken, so. True. It is a brisk, cold morning here in Montana. Um, we are headed to Lost Trail Ski Resort today. The name fits what it is. It is hard to get to. You probably haven't heard of it. I said that yesterday. Um, but it's really cool. We went there last year, and I think that if you're a snowboard skier junkie, it is an amazing place. The lift tickets are like 50 bucks and it's off the grid. It's massive. Imagine a world-class resort for 50 bucks. I mean, it's, it doesn't make any sense. So that's where we're headed today. Um, we'll start getting the car packed up, eat some breakfast, wake Matt up. Um, it's about a two hour drive from here. We're in Butte. No, we're in Anaconda, Montana. So, um, 
next scene will us be either traveling there, doing something super cool and cinematic, or we'll be snowboarding and skiing. I don't know yet. All right. Out here at Lost Trail, Montana Idaho border. It's uh, it's a pretty unique little ski resort. Fifty dollar lift tickets. Can't go wrong. You'll never find that again. Um, I don't know what the plan is today, but we got we got like four or six inches of snow. We saw three moose on the way in. So I'm excited. I'm excited just to start skiing, and Matt is up there in the lift ahead of me and can't go wrong with fresh powder. How's the snow? It's okay. Not very thick, not very rich, but it's smooth. Uh, give it, I'd say, a, it's a five out of 10. We gotta do better than that. We'll find some better snow around here. Yeah, we'll be better. Uh, I'm gonna try this Hollywood double black uh, bowl. Should have a bunch of like powder and everything. Um, I am currently riding my buddy Mason's powder board, so should make it a lot easier. I was here last year and I did the shoots and everything, uh, and it was great. I climbed up one of them like a madman. I'll cut to that right now. I've never done this. I can't really see where I'm going, um, but this is probably the hardest one they have here. So, Lost Trail. Let's see what you got. Is it any better over here? I think the snow we saw over there was just too young. The snow over here has been aged really good in the sun. It's giving it a little bit more crunch, a little bit more texture. Kind of makes up for the lack of flavor. Uh, yeah, I kind of like how, I don't want to say it's chalky, but it's almost kind of like a powder that breaks up, but then it melts. It's really a, it feels good on your palate. I'm liking this, I'm giving this out of 10. Day one complete. See you Lost Trail again Thursday. We're headed to Discovery Ski Resort. It's about 45 minutes in that direction, uh, up into the mountains. Pretty excited for that. Um, just gonna see what we can make happen today. You know, it's kind of cool going to local, kind of unheard of ski resorts. It's kind of nice to get away from the big veil type resorts. So, all right. Matt and I have the constant competition of how many chairs are there. Yesterday, we guessed, or I guessed, 190. He guessed uh, 180, and there was 186. 
So we are currently on Team Schaefer. And right now, Matt is trying to win. What did you guess? 130. I guessed one. You guessed 175. Yeah, 175. There's no way. So. There's no way. Team Schaefer will rise again. <laughs> right now, we're at 134. I think I'm going to win. There's, there's, there's not a shot there's anywhere close to 170 on this. How many were there? 139. God. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. Ah! Team Seeds. Drew is a loser. Yes. <laughs> All right. We will. Re I will redeem myself on the next one. That's two out of three. Warning. Avalanches. Going into treacherous territory. How's it looking? Gorgeous. Soft. We love gorgeous and soft. Deep. Go. Yeah, he's very good at the skiing. He just like went for it. Yeah, oh my god. Like we didn't even have like a little chat or anything. How do you do that? I swear these skiers never want to wait. It's cool. I'm over it. Hey, but we can feel it better than Hey, That was dumb. We are currently stuck on a lift. How long have we been here? 10 minutes? About 10 minutes, yeah. I want food, but yeah, we're just stuck on a Montana lift at the moment. There's worse things. We're debating if we should jump. We're not that high up. We are I mean, not that you, high. If you hang off the chair lift and then drop from there, it's only like another six or eight feet. I'll do it. We told ourselves that if uh, we're here by noon, it's 11.30 right now. If we're here for another 30 minutes, we're jumping. That'll make for great content, bro. Huh. If, I, yeah, if, if we do jump from the chair, at least record it. <laughs> <laughs> we have to at least record it. <laughs> Matt's never been stuck on a chairlift before, neither have I. This is weird. You never think it'll happen to you. You never think it'll happen to you. <laughs> We're moving! Let's go! <laughs> we we're, we were about to jump. Like, we were seriously going to jump. Yeah, totally. Right? Uh, oh, totally. It was totally going to jump. I was just about to jump, and then they started moving. Oh, I meant it. I totally wasn't going to wimp out. No. Uh -huh. That's not us. I mean, you say something, you do it. You mean it. It's exactly. your word. That, that's how I feel, man. Yep. So it's about 9 p.m. here in Montana. Um, I wanted to get some really cool late night star photos, but the cloud coverage is really bad. Um, so I'm just trying to be creative and I'm trying something new here. I'm trying a 70 to 200 millimeter lens. Um, and I'm doing a long exposure on the, in the mountains way off in the distance. Um, typically you don't want a 70 to 200 millimeter lens on a long exposure photo. You want a very wide angle lens because the stars and everything will move. And the wider the lens, the less you'll see the movement. Um, but I'm just trying to get creative here. We're going to see what we can kind of make. And uh, I'll insert the photos that I'm taking right now. For a last second photo shoot at night before I go to bed, I thought that was pretty cool. Um, but I don't know. Comment down below what you think of those photos. And I'll also post some from last year. The ones I got from here last year were pretty incredible. About to wrap it up for the night. We've got another big day of skiing tomorrow. So I will see you tomorrow. Yep. Do you want to go down first and I just bomb past you? 
Yeah, that usually happens. Okay, cool. cool. Matt, very fast skier. Drew, not so fast, but still pretty fast. And also not a skier. Also not a skier. <laughs> no snowboarder can keep up with a skier. That's just facts. I am currently trying to get a sweet video of Matt coming past me at full speed on his Rozzies, which are like his speed ski. Last year I screwed this up, so I'm trying to make sure I get it. Well, I hope I got that. When I came past you, that was like me just starting back up again. I wasn't even going fast. No, I didn't feel like you were going that fast. Plus, you came over that ridge yeah. so quick that I couldn't even start recording. Like, I got the shot, but I think if I did it again, I'd go over here, get a little bit better. I'd have more time to prepare, you know? I'm not going to lie. With how, like, skinny this is, it makes me a little nervous. Maybe I don't want to do it right here. <laughs> <laughs> it is very skinny. Well, because if I... I'm, I'm dead. Yeah, if you you're dead. Maybe maybe we'll go do a run in the back, and I'll just do it past you back. I don't know. It would look cool here, but I, I don't want to die. I don't want to die either. Dying is bad, folks. Dying is bad. Look at that. I mean, look at that. I don't know if you can see behind me. That's pretty, pretty awesome. Matt and I, we had our skiing and snowboarding fun the last couple days, but now we're trying to get sick photos and videos. Someone coming. Yep. He probably thinks we're weird. <laughs> People definitely think we're weird here. It's okay. They think you're weird. Oh yeah, They're they definitely. Like, wow, who's that weirdo with that completely normal man? <laughs> who's that weirdo with the completely normal guy? No, yeah, I'm definitely weird compared to everybody else here. But I'm way better at photography. So we're out here in the woods trying to do a photo shoot for this VIP seltzer. And uh, I stuck it on top of this here uh, tree because I thought that it had just been cut cleanly off. And I was trying to set up a cool photo with the tree here and the mountains and everything. And the seltzers just went like deep into that hole. Gone. Forever. And I can't get more. I mean, we have more at home, but... Like, are you kidding me? I mean, I guess I got a few photos. <laughs> Last day, are you kidding me? Yeah, they're just deep in there. Gone forever. You're not gonna believe this. They're gone. <laughs> and you're like, what do you mean they're gone? And I'm like, they're gone. <laughs> they're in a tree. <laughs> well, I guess that's uh, a wrap on the photo shoots for today. Yep. How's the snow? Oh, well, this snow is awesome. It has like the perfect amount of moisture to the part where it just quenches your thirst. Maybe it's just because I'm thirsty. Maybe it's because it's been a long day, but perfect crunch, perfect blend of February snow with spring snow kind of mixes both flavors. Nine out of 10. All right, last run of the day. Good snow. Let's go hit this powder run. Cool. Yeah, we have a trail. <sighs> Ow, what the f <sighs> Wipeouts half it. <sighs> uh. 
Well, that was dumbest. 